Hello you lovely lot, welcome back to my channel, um, it is uncensored because I do earn can swear, just to put that out there first, um, hello, how are you, uh, happy Father's Day, even to the mums pulling the double shift, and the dads who actually care and are around, or at least show they care, by sending a card, whatever, um, so yeah, all the kids that show they care to send a cut, you know what the fuck I mean, I don't even know, it's been a long day. Anyway, I am showing you one of my husband's new toys that I bought him. Um, sorry, low video there. Uh, so yeah, I bought me up a new toy. Uh, basically, that's the name of it, Mosier. Mo Mo Mosier, Mosier, Mosier. Um, Basically, it, you measure an area, whether it's any, even, I'll do it area, area first. So you measure an area, even if it's misshaped, circle, semicircle, alcoves, whatever. You measure it by using this special little thing. And there's an app on your phone, which is extremely good and very easy to use and brilliant videos to show you how to use it. Um, so yeah, you go round, popping this on at different points. It tells you even on the app when to put it down, which I'll show you in a minute when we do a video demonstration. Um, so yeah, it measures that area for you. So it works out your material. So if you're, I don't know, wanting new carpet or decking or even just the size of windows, you can measure them by using this bad boy. Or if you're an estate agent, um, just imagine how posh you'd look with one of these bad things in your pocket but anyway um you go around say if you're going to like the smith's family or whatever you name the plan the smiths you go in and you measure each room and name it and then you do the hallway you do the stairs and just keep naming it every time you measure a room or an area or even if it's just like a doorway and while you're in there you put in all the windows the doorways alcoves it works out Every single wall that you've measured measurements, so a wall between a window, it make out those measurements. It give you the overall size of that wall. It give you the size of the window. It is an amazing piece of kit. Um, it, it, uh, it, like I said, it'll even measure when you're going upstairs. It measure the incline of those stairs for you. So if someone says to you on estate agents in your details, are these steep stairs? You can stay on there because this thing tells you whether it's steep. What's the incline? Um, or if you're a carpet fitter, it tells you how many stairs you've got and how deep they are. Um, it's brilliant. So it'll do all that for you. Um, my husband's going to show you how it works. So this is what you get in the box. Go on their site. You can't get it from any other company. It's, you can't get it through Screwfix, b &Q. It's not even at their sites yet. You have to go direct to these. It is a 30-day money-back guarantee. So play with it, mess around with it. And if it really ain't for you, send it back. You know, it does state that. So you get this little carry pouch thing. So it goes on your belt. A normal USB charger that we've just looped around the strap that goes on your belt. And obviously the Mosier itself. It is yay big. I mean, we all know how big these little Android charger holes are. So that's how deep that is. It ain't very big at all. It's about the size of, you know, those cheap little tape measures you buy. <laughs> or borrow from B&Q is literally the size of that three sides have got curves on your measure inside is the point with the light on that is the measure inside you use there is an app like I said you can upgrade to the fucking super duper app and that allows you to print off everything you've measured onto pdf um, which allows you to download other fucking random shit on your computer which allows you to order how many pieces of say wood you need in that decking the one you've measured it tells you how many materials you need and things like that it's very posh anyway i'm going to hand you to my husband who is going to show you how to work it fingers crossed it goes to plan he's literally used it once because he only got it last night and then he had to charge it because i forgot to charge it when i has a sneak peek so yeah we had to wait for it to charge bless him so yeah this is the app and once you're in it's this is what it looks like. This is Lawrence, by the way. Hello, my husband. And this is his new toy. So, go on then, what do you do? All right, to turn the uh, Mosier on, you just double tap it until the light flashes in the corner. Once you go into the app, it's literally got a step-by-step -step guide for setting it up. It's, it's so easy. Um, I'm still learning all the different bits and pieces you can do with it, but 
I'll, I'll just put you, you, I'll put you on the spot. A rough I? idea, yeah. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'll just measure the. Uh, how you hold it first? How do you hold it? Because they tell you how to hold it, don't well, they? They say if you're measuring a room and you want to go all the way around the room, you'd hold it in that position so that this corner always goes into the into the corner of the room or onto up to the edge. So if you're going up to an edge, you go up to there. So or, literally right on the corner, yeah? yeah. so okay. literally your point is that edge and that point there. So do you need to do the height or is it just to do the circumference? This is just to do like a plan. Around. So if you're doing a plan of the room, okay. that's what you'd do. Okay. I'm still working on heights and bits and pieces like that. <laughs> we haven't figured that bit out yet. I'm, yeah. I'm putting them on the spot. So We're going to pretend to measure our rug plus the wardrobe. So make it a little bit more misshaped for you. So you get sort of like a... A measurement of what it's going to be like or are you just going to do a square? I was just going to do the rug for start. Okay just do the rug. Go on then. Right. So you tap on that onto there. It's connecting. Hang on a sec. Have I made you turn, turn it, it off? Yeah, there you right. go. So place to start. Oh, it's not doing it again. There we go. Start moving. You moved again. Okay, now it's telling him to move. Did you hear? And as you hear, I'm going to try and follow him around. It's just telling him to move. You see how he's putting it on the corner? And then this tells him everything to do. Always go back to your starting point. Because he's finished, he clicked on finish. And that's given us the dimensions of the rug. So it should be equal, obviously, all the way around. That's not bad, it's literally got like a three millimetre difference. it's telling him that here. Two at the other. But I think that is because if you look on this one, it's put the point there. But when he moved it from that way around, you had it on the other corner. Yeah, I think the rug moved while we were walking on it. But that's only literally three millimetres difference. Mm -hmm. And two millimetres difference across there. So it is actually... Square. Quite well, accurate considering we're I walked just on the rug, a rug and I walked and crossed that rug and I moved it, so I apologise. So, do you want to do something like the cupboard? Do the cupboard so it's upright and we do it again. And we have a look. Okay. We're going to measure the size of the cupboard now. So, if you wanted to measure a gap, say, and you want to know if it's going to fit, so you can measure. So, let's put that right on the corner. Start moving. Oh, I would have done the actual top as well. Oh, I just want to... Mm -hmm. See how the app is literally, you can hear it. So it gives you a chance to move to where you want to go. So if you're walking a long distance, it gives you to that line to put it down. Then it asks you... So if we do something a bit bigger after this. See, it's done the measurements of the cupboard. Yeah, but you can, you can move this around. That is in 3D, isn't it? So you can move this around. And open it up. tip it the other way, Lawrence, the actual screening of it. There you go. And you can move it backwards and forwards. So it's given the dimensions of all of it as you're going around. Yeah, so the so overall length, look, the total length is 1.7 metres. Yeah. But they've measured that all the way, haven't they? Like the circumference of it. Yeah. So okay. that's a co yeah. So that's at the minute it's set. Up to, this is set to measure the distance. Yeah. So if I was going around a room and I wanted to know how big the room was in like square square meters, then obviously I'd measure each wall. And that's what that. To corner to okay. Corner, and it'd give me the measurements for each wall. Right. So do. Do you want to do a quick square? Oh, okay. Do you? I don't know if you'll know exactly what you're on about. All right, so let's start again then. If you do the square, but measure the, each of the cupboards. So we'll start from. We'll so if you measure, here. so if you measure, like each of these wardrobes, because we've got a triple wardrobe in our bedroom. So if you measure this wardrobe, the then the then bits there, then you measure the windows separately, and then you'll see what I mean about it measuring the windows separately. Oh, it's been it's gone to sleep. Oh, I'm not going to make it go red. Why is it red? 
He's up there. It's on. Mm. I'll just put it to sleep. I did this before. It blew, look, it made it go red, is it me? No. Oh. It does this up. So put it. Place to start. There we go. You need to take the measure. Move. It's not ready yet. And then I'll start point. Go on and move it, saying. So you're getting to the corner. See, because it's registered in, he's already stopped. That's why it's still tick, 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 and, and then it'll stop to measure that area. But it gives you until that line, which you'll see on the longer part in a minute, it's going to go all the way across in a minute. It's just going to get these little cut out bits we've got. See, I was going to the corner. Let's do a little bit slower so we can see what it does on the actual meter. It actually tells yeah, you. Yeah, but wait, 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 wait. Slowly, slowly, slowly. See how it's bulping? There. Oh. So it's telling him to pause now because it wants him to take a measurement. I haven't measured the windows. No, you said we do that after. So yeah, it's measured the that part. So it's telling him to stop because it wants to see the join. Um, when it sees the join, there you go. It's, it's asking him to pause because um, it needs that measurement. It needs that reference point. Um, but if you're doing a longer room or a longer deck in, see that's done. There you go. That's the shape of our room, and that literally is it because that that part in here is the kicking part we did over that side of the room. It does actually kick in on that point. Um, but yeah, that is the size of our room. So that is how good this machine is. Obviously, as you can see, he's still getting used to it. He's still getting to know each and every part of it. Um, do you want to cover your ear rolls a little bit and I'll tell him how much it is. <laughs> it's bound to notice it at one point, but it was £235. Um, Obviously, like I said, it is very new on the market. Um, I think there isn't even an app on it, a part on it, that if you're doing a circle and you can't keep put, putting it down all those time, like I said, a semicircle, you literally put your point reference here, and then when it tells you that start moving, you can literally go like this, follow that semicircle all the way around, and then put it down. This will pick up that semicircle you followed, whether you've got... I don't know, uh, grass, a circle grass, or I don't know, it's got a curve in it, and you want it replacing for Astro, this will do the measurements for you. And then you can literally just phone up companies and say, excuse us, mate, how much would it be to do this, please? You can give them the exact measurements you need, rather than going, oh, I don't know, because it's not actual square. They ain't going to charge you for material that you ain't using. But trust me, they will do. If they're giving you a square meterage, they'll try and swear it off. And some companies will probably swear it off bigger than what you need. They'll just tell you, oh, it's because of the curve, it's wastage. Where a lot of the time they can probably even do that join with a smaller part. It doesn't have to be the same width as the, the bigger part of your grass. So that is how good this is. So if you go in, how, like if you make, if, I don't know, do you do made to measure blinds? This would be perfect for that. Um, like I say, carpet fitting, or if you go around and do carpet measuring for a company, does carpet fitting. Um, estate agent, uh, my husband does a lot of fencing and decking, so he'll be using it on that. He's going to try and test it to see how it is, and then he's going to get a, a just a tape measure. And he is an, a, a, such a perfectionist, um, he will measure it with his tape measure and see how accurate this one is. And trust me, it is very rarely five mil out of anything that he measures. Um, so yeah, he will be testing this and he'll scrutinize it to the hill because it's not cheap. So I want to know, is it a pile of shit or does it do what it says it's going to do? Um, you know, at the end of the day, like I said, they're a pioneering company and I'm sure they would want to know whether or not there's faults in it. Um, but they also keep telling you to regularly update the app on your app store because any new software they add to it, they update it on the app. So all you've got to do is, like I said, update the app and then it'll update the machine for you. That's their promise. So we'll see. Um but yeah, overall, do you like it? Mm, yeah, it's brilliant. 
Yeah. I can't wait to use it a bit more and get the full potential from it, to be fair. Test it out. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll see. Like I said, it's got 30 days. If it's a pile of shit, it's going back. Um, I might do a part two. Once he's been using it for a few weeks, yeah, give it to, like, three weeks, because yeah. then we've only got a week left to send it back if, it's a, if it is shit. Um, so give it three weeks. You, you use it and test it. We'll do a quick little review on it to see... Is it good or is it shit? Am I sending the fucking thing back? So, yeah, stay tuned. Subscribe, like I said, and you'll get that video update. But that's another nice little video for you. You know, um, if you don't know what to buy the man in your life or even the woman in your life, if she is an estate agent or does blind fitting or whatever, you know, anything to help. And it's an unusual present. Yeah, she might be a builder. Don't be so sexist, Claire, for fuck's sake. <laughs> but, yeah, any man, woman fucking beast whatever if he wanted one of these and you do a lot of measuring this might be your toy might be the toy of the year it's only tiny as well so it's easy to lose yeah <laughs> yeah i've noticed that there's no loops you can't even put a strap on it no. <laughs> put a strap on that's why you got the pouch yeah i know but you know what i mean i know what you're like where's the tank measure he puts it down all the time wherever put that wherever put that <laughs> so yeah um, like I said, it's not as big as bulky and it's definitely not as heavy as a tape measure. So, yeah, if you're a lady and this goes in your handbag, I mean, fuck me, look at that. And honestly, it barely weighs anything. I've had lipsticks that weigh just as much as that. So, yeah, go and treat yourselves. I've treated him, haven't I? Yep. I've treated you. It's today. Yes, you have. So, if you haven't already, like and subscribe and I'll love yours and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.